As soon as I got a call that she didn't show up to her baseball game, I got the worst feeling in the world. Very not like her after eight years of service in the Army to just disappear. She's my best friend and I didn't have to come back, that's all. I helped my mom pass out flyers. Did you think they'd find her? Yes, I did. We've covered a few stories in which family and friends tried to solve the case themselves. This could be one of those times. Or does a movie is in detective movie, somebody always comes back to their crime scene or whatever. So I just parked the car in the front. I took my notebook, had a binocular in there. So you were doing your own surveillance? Yes. Did you know she was doing all that online dating? Did she talk about that? Yeah, she did. And you thought what? Good? I thought great. $12,000 later, he's got a different face. Correct. And he says the reason he got it is because of the woman who's missing. Correct. He Google mapped that park. He then panned out, navigated over about eight to 10 miles. And no one had searched there else. No, I mean, it's out in a remote canyon location. This is way off the beaten path. One of the detectives called and said, Joe, you're not gonna believe this. There are a couple of things that made me want to return to this story. First, exactly what happened here was something investigators had to work at. And second, the way the suspect was caught was something I'd never seen before or since. <laughs>